Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nate Penda, and if you are tuned in today, you're going to be getting a life update. We're going to be chitting, we're going to be chatting, we're going to be doing skincare. All of that is going to be included in this video, but also I will be doing a giveaway. So, Dermalogica was kind enough to send me some products, and then they also sent me some for you guys too, so that I can host a giveaway. If you follow me on Instagram, then you will have seen that I do use Dermalogica products in my daily nighttime skincare routine, and at this point, all I use for my face for the most part is Dermalogica so I'm super excited to be doing this video using their products and to be giving you guys some as well this video is not like financially sponsored I'm not getting any money at all from this so this is genuinely skincare that I love and y'all know I feel like skincare a lot of it has to do with genetics so I will not tell you guys any product that I truly don't believe in so if you want to win you have to watch the full video and you will see somewhere thrown into the video real sneakily okay you will see where I tell you guys what you need to do for this giveaway. So included will be the pre-cleanser, the daily cleanser, and then a micro exfoliant. So if you want to win, keep on watching. Make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's get unready. So guys, it's been about two weeks. I feel like I'm gonna talk a little bit first and then I'm gonna start getting into the skincare because I have so much to tell y'all. Um, should I take off the wig? Let's talk a little bit. Let me look cute for a little bit. I mean, regardless, nothing without makeup, we cute. But let me look, you know, full, full, full done up for a little bit. So, um, I wanna come on here with you guys and just be really honest and really candid because I feel like a lot of times when I go missing on YouTube or when I go missing with posting, it's almost like I come back and I'm like, hey guys, this is the reason. And I haven't been 100% honest. Um, so I actually did put down notes or bullet points of things that I want to talk about. And I feel like I want to start from the highs and then get into like, like where the lows were. Because everything that happened when I was at my lowest essentially prepared me for being at the point that I'm at now, mentally, spiritually, and just whole, whole being wise. So, if you guys don't know who Nima Tang is, first of all, get your life. I'm going to need you to go subscribe to her channel first and then come back to this video. But she did host a content creator contest. And in that contest, there were basically two prizes you could win. One is for if you were already creating content, so someone who already has a camera. And it was a financial win um, so that you can upgrade your content and do a lot of different things. And then the second was a camera and a lens so that you can get started on creating content. So this was around the time when she put out the contest information. It was around the time where I was applying to Sephora Squad and I had just found out that I was not accepted. So I was I would say that I was a little disappointed, but I was also like content and knowing that I made it to um, the semifinals. All of you guys gave me so much love, so much support, and people that I love and respect actually won or were selected. So I was okay, I was fine, but I was just like, dang, like that would have been a good a good thing for me and then i saw her contest so something just told me just go ahead and apply so when i applied i just told my truth and i said a little bit about myself why i create content and earlier this week on thursday Nima Tang follows me so i'm sitting here when she follows me and i'm like oh shoot like me was following me what happened who posted me did she see something and like decided she wanted to follow me so i was just like Menti cosmetics had just posted my lip swatch video so i'm like let me see if she liked the video maybe that's where she found me and she followed me but i didn't see her like it so i'm like why is she not why is she following me? but i was just like why is she following me because you know a lot of mega influencers they barely follow people so I'm just sitting there like, nay, maybe this is about the contest. But then I was also like, skirt, calm down, don't get ahead of yourself, relax, put, put the boat in, in in drive. Not no, not put the boat in drive, put the, the boat in rest. Let's let's not move too far ahead of ourselves. So I'm like, calm down, calm down, calm down. But then she DMs me and says, check your email. So you know me, I'm going on my email, signing on, and I'm like, where's the email at? I don't see an email. So I write, write her back and essentially have a conversation. I'm listening to her, I don't see the email. She sent it twice. So finally she was like, you know what? I'm just gonna send it here. And it was basically saying, congratulations, you won. And for me personally, like as soon as I read that message, I started crying. Um, and I'll explain to you guys a little bit why as we do the get unready with me. But I started crying because 
I was going through so much emotionally, so much mentally at this time, um, especially in the month of July. Like July for me was one of the hardest also towards the end, one of the most beautiful months I've had in a long, long, long time. Um, but for me, getting that DM and winning the contest was confirmation of my purpose here on earth. And I know that that's a loaded statement to say, but you guys will kind of get to understand a little bit why I feel like that as I go. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start from the beginning. So let's go ahead and take this wig off. All right, so I push the head wrap out and take my earrings off. And I do not have gel on my edges, so they are in their natural 4C state, okay? So I'm gonna just go ahead and take my lashes off. Um, so basically what I've been going through, let me get my notes, cause it's a lot. All right, so as far as what I've been going through, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Neutrogena makeup removal wipes. Um, me personally, I don't like to use the word depressed because I feel like if I say I'm depressed then it's actually real but the reality is I was going through a bout of depression and before I moved into my new apartment I feel like everything for me as far as why I wasn't happy or as far as like why I was you know feeling the way that I was I blamed everything on my living situation I was just like okay like I'm tired of being in this apartment. I don't want to live here with my parents. Not to say that there's anything wrong with living with my parents, but I wanted my own space. I wanted my own independence. And I wasn't able to find that at my old apartment. So before moving to this place, I actually had two other locations or two other times during the year where I was supposed to move. The first time I was supposed to move with someone that lived upstairs in my parents' building. And what ended up happening is a few days before I was supposed to move upstairs, she contacted me and let me know that it wasn't going to work based off of a family situation. So I was really, really frustrated and let down by that because I had ordered a bed, I had ordered furniture, did so many things in order to prepare for this new space. Then the second time I was supposed to move out, um, one of my friends, he was going to be out of two roommates because his two roommates were finding a new location. So he wanted me to rent out a room in his apartment. Um, the room was a little smaller than what I wanted. And at the time it was pretty, pretty expensive. So that also didn't work out. Um, so in February, my current roommate, we have fallen out before and she contacted me and we just met up. And the way our friendship is set up, is kind of like, you can miss a few days, but you never miss a beat. It's like once you meet up with that person, everything goes back to normal. So when I saw her, it was February, and she was basically telling me how she was looking for a new apartment because she had to move out by May. And I was like, well, since I'm trying to move out too, so what's, what are we going to do? So we decided right then and there, let's move in together. Now that's February. I had not prepared at all to move into an apartment. If you saw my chit chat get ready with me from above, I always said that my friend Brittany moving out into her own space taught me that you need to be ready for opportunities when God is blessing you in your life. So I wasn't ready and I'm gonna keep it real with you. I was not ready, I had not saved, I didn't have anything, but I knew that I wanted to move out. So I had three months and during those three months, when I say I did not buy anything, I didn't do anything, I did not go anywhere. If you called me trying to go, I'm not going, I'm broke, sorry. Like I, I literally was not able to do anything. That on top of, at the time, income taxes came in, gave me enough to be able to save for first month and deposit, as well as some things that I would need to furnish my apartment. So the apartment that we ended up going with is a three bedroom, as you guys know. So I never imagined that I would be in a place where I have my own bedroom and then I also have a space where I could film. I always thought that I would have to mix the two. So what that taught me during the process is that what God has for you, like when God says no to one thing, it's because he has something better for you. Because I'm thinking the room that I was going to be living in before was probably the size of this filming area or this filming room, which is extremely small, but I was going to force it and literally just go in that room for the main purposes of being able to film. And I'm just thinking back to how uncomfortable that would have been. And then living with my friend who's a guy, like I don't think my parents would have eventually or essentially accepted that so every no that I heard and every block that came to me when I was trying to move out was because God had better for me um and so after the apartment situation I moved out in May 
And I'm gonna tell y'all the real, real truth is that I thought as soon as I moved out, all of my problems would be gone. All of my feelings of just like kind of being sad or kind of being down, I thought that it would just go away for the simple fact that the biggest problem I had, or so I thought, is that I wasn't in my own apartment. So here I am in my own apartment, and you know, through May I'm working, through June I'm in, through June I'm working, so I'm happy about moving into my own apartment, but for some reason, I'm not as productive as I thought I would be with all of the space that I have. Then comes July when I really don't have work, and the first two weeks for me were probably rock bottom. Like, I felt a way that I've never felt before. Almost like, like it never got to the point where I was questioning like my life, but it was just like, I was consistently questioning my purpose. Like, why am I here? What am I supposed to do on earth? Like, why do I feel this way? Like, I'm so, it was hard for me to get out of bed, essentially. Like, there would be days, like something like showering is something that's super easy, but I would go, on, not a long time as far as days, but like throughout the day, showering would not be the first thing that I would do in the morning. And it's still kind of not because I do other things, but I say that to say like, I wasn't getting my day started. I wasn't doing anything with my time. I was just existing. Um, and in those moments, I really started to like question for myself, why do I feel this way? Why do I feel down? Why do I have no energy to do anything? Why am I in a place, finally, like the dream that I've had for so long of having my own filming space, I finally get that, but I can't do anything with it. And so I was super, super, super frustrated with myself and I had to reflect. I had to take time off from social media. So that means YouTube, Instagram. I literally went a month without posting on Instagram and that's not something that I do a lot, but I've done it before in times of feeling this attitude of just like not knowing what to do and not wanting to do anything at all. Um, so it's not my first time dealing with depression, but it's the first time that I dealt with it head on. And I think that because I moved out, and because I'm in my own space, I was finally able to admit to myself that something was not okay and that the problem wasn't my space. The problem was internal, the problem was from within. So for me, what I started to do is I just started to write a lot. What were my goals? What was I not happy with? What was stifling me? What was making me not grow? What wasn't making me happy? And from there, I looked at like, okay, so what can I control? What can I do in these situations to make it better? Or what can I do in these situations to um, be happy? And then a lot of times I have control over what the issue that I have was. So let's say, for example, I am, let's say, and this is not, I'm just throwing an example out there. Let's say, for example, one of the things that was depressing me was that um, I wasn't saving money. That's within my control to save money because I can budget. I can do something to offset what my problem eventually is. So that was the kind of conclusion that I came to. And honestly, ever since I sat there and made that list, like a lot of things have been different for me. Um, really quickly, I'm going to go in with the Dermalogical Pre-Cleanse. So I've already taken off my makeup with the Makeup Removal Wipe. And now I'm going to go ahead and take some of this Pre-Cleanse on my face it's a pre-cleansing oil um so yeah the first step was for me to realize that one it was a problem and then the second step was for me to understand that whatever my issues were were within my control i had control over the situation and it was up to me to do something about it really quickly the pre-cleansing oil is activated with water as well um so it changes up um so yeah i just spoke to myself honestly like i asked myself what do i need to be happy, what isn't making me happy. And then from there, I made a list. Um, one of the biggest changes where I mean, like I had an overnight change was when I stopped eating meat and chicken. And if you're like me, you probably like, what the heck? Like how does meat and chicken affect anything? Honestly, I don't know. But I was watching a video on, um, it was basically talking about should black people be vegan? And I'll include it in the description box. And one of the points that they made really hit home with me, and I know I can't be vegan right now. Like that's just, it's not realistic, okay? It's not, it's not happening. So I thought to myself, what can I do to make a step towards like being more plant-based and that was to become a pescatarian. So it's been about a week, a week and a half. So I haven't eaten any meat, any chicken. All I've eaten is shrimp and fish grains and vegetables and when i tell y'all not eating meat or chicken i notice a change overnight 
the, the day that I stopped, like the day that I only ate fish and shrimp, the next day I woke up with more energy than I had the entire month, the entire past two months. And since that day, my energy levels have been amazing. And I've been, I used to take vitamins, like B12 vitamins for energy. And I haven't taken them since I stopped eating meat and chicken and I've been completely fine. And that is crazy to me. Like I, I genuinely cannot believe that I literally don't eat meat or chicken anymore, but I don't and I'm gonna try not to for a very long time. I'm gonna go ahead and wash this off and then I'm gonna come back and do my other parts of my routine and keep chatting with y'all, okay? Next, I'm gonna go in with the special cleansing gel. This is literally almost done. I'm completely almost out of this. This lives in my shower. I use this every single day, twice a day, religiously. This is the only facial cleansing gel that I use. So I'm just gonna put it in between my hand. As you guys can see, there's still makeup on my neck. Um, so I'm gonna get that area as well. Um, but changing my diet as far as not eating meat or chicken gave me drastic results energy-wise. Um, and then from there, I just kept literally asking God, show me my purpose. Is social media something I'm meant to do? Because it got to a point where I literally was just going to quit. I'm being completely honest with you guys. I was going to stop posting on Instagram, stop posting on YouTube, because it almost came to a point where I was just like, like, I don't want to do this if this is not what is put in writing for me, if that makes sense. So if you're a religious person, if you're Muslim, then you know that everyone says that God has essentially like, your, your life is written out for you before you live it. So like what you're gonna do is already known. And so for me, it was just like, I kept asking myself like, am I forcing social media? Am I forcing myself when it comes to um, creating content? And though it made me happy, though it's something that brings me pure joy, though it's the one thing that like when I'm down, and that's how depression works, it's like the one thing that makes me happy is filming, but yet and still when I was feeling super down, I couldn't even bring myself to do that. So the thing that I love, the things that I love, I could not do right so I was asking a guy like if this is something that I'm supposed to do show me show me signs and I'm gonna be honest like there were always little signs whether it was brands that I really love contacting me brands sending me PR brands um, showing up to my page influencers that I love like actually acknowledging me and showing me that they like my content whatever it would be or you guys comments and leaving me sweet messages I mean y'all send me DMs asking me am I okay is everything going right and I feel like from that that was like a sign you know but I didn't take those signs. I was just like, what's, what's going on? Like, what am I supposed to do? And so when Ema reached out to me, it was at a point where I was struggling financially a lot. Because if you guys look at my filming area, you look at my filming space, if you saw when I did my film, my room film tour, like my, this room is still bare. It's still empty. And it's because like moving out within three months and only having the money that I saved within those three months, and having to furnish my room, furnish a living room, furnish a bathroom, furnish a kitchen. Although I have a roommate, it's like not as difficult. It's still a lot financially. And so I didn't even have money to put towards the things that I want to do content wise. The things that I want to, you know, put in here, what I want to be in the backdrop, um, different lenses that I want, having a website or a blog where I can actually write about the makeup that I'm talking about. And just all of these things that I want to do, all of the things that I have the vision to do, I was not financially able to do and that was super frustrating because it was just like for me like dang everything that I want to do I can't and instead of me being in the mindset of working with you have it's almost like I was working with what I had and then it got to a point where I just felt a, a creative block I felt a block with like my wants and my needs as a person and like what I wanted from my brand so when that point happened it was like the money that I had for my brand stuff, because I have separate accounts, so there's a certain amount of money that I set aside specifically for YouTube, Instagram, and creating content for you guys. And that money comes from, I've been working with the brand called RevZoss as their model. I'll put up some pictures here. Also, the lip bar sponsored a video for me. So from those videos, dang, this thing dried. I gotta go wash my face. From those um, videos, I was able to um, or from those shoots or whatever the case may be, I was able to make some income. But then the money for the filming room, the money for my brand, it went away quick because I decided to invest in 
Final Cut Pro. Um, I had actually bought my own website before I found out that I won. So there were things that I wanted to do with my brand and I was just like, I wasn't waiting to hear from Nima or to hear from a contest before I acted. I was acting and as a result, I wasn't as financially strong as I wanted to be for my brand and I couldn't do anything with the space or I couldn't do other things that I wanted to do. So it's like I had to make a choice of what's going to be important for me. And that's why I feel like when it comes to moments in your life where it's like you want something really bad, you really cannot wait for other people to do for you sometimes you have to do for yourself and I feel like in doing for yourself you kind of reward yourself because you're showing yourself how much you want something so when Nima contacted me it came at such perfect timing because of how stressed I was I was definitely feeling better because I wasn't eating meat or chicken so my energies were good I had a lot of energy I had a lot that I wanted to do I was planning when I was gonna film like I, was, I had all of those things but something was still holding me back and I couldn't figure out what it was um so when she contacted me that was the sign that I needed that was the sign that I had been asking for that was the sign that everything before you know what I was going through it all led up to that moment and I, I truly believe in this idea of like whatever happens to you is supposed to happen because had I not got rejected for the two places that I wanted to live I would have never ended up here if I didn't end up here I wouldn't have entered into Nina's contest because one of my talking points was I would really benefit from the financial prize and the financial giveaway because I just moved into an apartment so I can't invest in my brand as much as I want to had I not bought my own website or my own you know editing software I would not have felt like I needed to push myself I would not have been in a place where I was trying to figure out how I'm gonna make money work to decorate my film room so that the people who are watching me aren't looking at a blank wall and don't hear all my echoes you know what I'm saying like all of those thought processes everything that happened happened for a reason I was chosen for a reason I'm so insecure sometimes when it comes to my content because I feel like it's not enough I feel like I could do more I feel like it's not edited as well as it can be like we are our harshest critics in general as people let me go wash my face hold that thought <laughs> so I already rinsed off the cleanser and it's super super gentle in case you were wondering um this brand in general is really really good if you have sensitive skin I have very sensitive skin so I'm always scared to try new skincare products and we're at the point in the video where I'm going to be telling you guys how to enter the giveaway so in order to enter the giveaway all you have to do is comment down below your favorite skincare products um and just started off with my favorite skincare products is leave it in the description box down below and then I will go ahead and pick one of you guys from that thank you so much for entering into this giveaway and again remember you're going to win a pre-cleanser you're going to win the cleanser itself and then you're going to win the micro exfoliant and these products are not cheap so this is like a really really good um giveaway so make sure you go ahead and enter down below make sure you subscribe and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and don't let anybody know why you're writing that just write it okay um but like I was saying, we are our own harshest critics. So when it comes down to it, it's like you can have a million people telling you, yo, my, let me fix myself. Okay, I have to fix my head wrap a little bit because I was a cray cray. Um, but we are our worst critics. We are our biggest critics. And I feel like no matter how many people were telling me, oh my God, your content is dope. I'm so proud of you. You're doing so many good things. Like everything that I wanted essentially was happening. I was getting contacted by brands. People that I respected were showing me love. You guys were showing me love. You guys have my support. I don't have negative comments at all. Like there's a few, but it's just like that's life. You're always going to get negative comments. I was growing at the rate that I wanted to grow. Also social media like everything that I wanted was happening and I still didn't feel good I still didn't feel proud of myself I still didn't think that what I was doing was enough and that's crazy because it's just like we always treat ourselves like that and I have to force myself to be like yo if you're not kind to yourself if you are not patient with yourself if you don't celebrate your small wins if you are not proud of yourself you are going to be unhappy you are literally going to be unhappy. And so for me, it's just like the fact that she saw me, she saw my content and it's almost like a, like a push that says like, keep going, like you are getting there. And I feel like that was not just on her doing, but I feel like it was also the sign that I was asking God for. And I feel like it was God almost saying like, if you don't listen to me now, if you don't do what you need to do now, if you don't film now, then I don't know what to tell you because everything that I was stressing about, literally, financially at least, for my brands 
was solved within minutes, just with someone saying, I picked you. Um, so for me, it was just like a, a moment of everything you've been through led to this. And so I feel like that brings me to a point where it's just like, I'm so motivated right now. Like when I say I'm in grind mode, literally just today I filmed three videos. I've been active on my Instagram. If you're not following me, you should be. I've been just thanking God more every single day. I mean, I've been responding to my emails. I built out a website. Like I've been doing so many things because I'm finally getting to a place where it's just like, I know this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to be talking to you guys. I'm supposed to be here. And whether that's for one person to enjoy it, whether that's for a group of y'all to enjoy it, whatever it is, y'all are my people. Like y'all are my tribe, y'all are my circle. And this is a platform that I want to use to empower you guys, to empower the people who are like me. And I also wanna keep it real with y'all. That's why in this video, I'm not even caring about my head wrap being all the way to the left or my edges not being flicked out. Like this is me. And I wanna show you guys not only the glams up person, with the real person that deals with real issues because social media will really make you think everybody's life is all peachy, everybody is perfect. And I feel like that also played into like a lot of my emotions because I would look at people and be like, dang, like why can't I be more like this? Why can't I look like, like the things that I used to do to myself that were mentally kind of self-harming of just like comparing myself to others, I started doing it again. And I had to unfollow a lot of people because if you are not bringing me peace, if your content is not inspiring me, if your content doesn't make me feel good, doesn't make me feel better, I cannot follow you because I'm not going to compare myself to things that I will never be able like I will never be able to be certain things and it's not as a result of me not being able to do it physically but it's just like that's not what God has put for me so it's just like social media really thinks makes you think everybody is perfect and I'm here to let you guys know I'm not I'm not perfect I am flawed I am human, I am like you. I have my ups, I have my downs, I have times when I'm motivated, I have times when I'm completely depressed. And the reality is, all I can do is work through those moments. All I can do is try to get better. All I can do is come here to you guys, honestly, and let y'all know I wasn't doing good. And because I wasn't doing good, I could not be productive, I could not film. Because the thing about me is that I can't be fake. Like, I cannot fake content. And I've tried, <laughs> like, I've literally tried. Really quickly, I went in with my cellar water to get off the remaining makeup. So this is what the first one looked like with the mascara and eyeliner and the lip products. And then this is what the second one looked like. So it was definitely much cleaner. I'm gonna go in one more time and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my Ola Henriksen toner to tone my skin. Um, but yeah, like nobody, nobody is perfect, y'all. Nobody is perfect at all. And I feel like me coming here and being real with y'all, I'm not telling you everything, of course, because then like what, I'm, I'm a very private person. Um, so I, I'm not gonna say every single thing. Like I'm gonna tell you guys what I was going through. I might not tell you the reasons why I was feeling those ways, but I feel like it will reveal itself in the future anyway. Um, but I want you guys to know that we are all in this together. So if you're feeling any feelings of depression or anxiety, the few things that helped me, or some of the things that I, that helped me, and I actually wrote it down. Ooh, this tone is working, I feel it's singing. So, the first thing that I did was clean my room. Because I feel like a cluttered room is cluttered thoughts, it's all, it all works within itself. So I really had to clean my room in order to essentially clear my mind. Um, second thing I did was just journaling a lot. So I went back, I looked at the things that I had wrote previously, I started writing down what I wanted from life, what I wanted to do, daily habits that I could start in order to make myself feel better on a daily basis. Um, I did a lot of budgeting because I feel like for me personally, like I wasn't struggling, but it's just like I was spending unnecessary money and I had to set boundaries on myself and set boundaries also on my friends up. I cannot come out every weekend to go to brunch. My life is not set up like that, okay? I'm a teacher, we work on teacher's salary, I am not rich. So I had to budget in order to be able to just do the things that I want and also set aside a budget for my brand. So I need to invest in new makeup. The Paragraph Foundation is out and I'm going to get it into a review for you guys. That's something that I had to budget for. So I really had to do that as well. And one of the things that like people always say that when I was going through my lowest points, I found difficult. People say like lean on your friends, but I feel like for me, I didn't want to be a burden on my friends. I didn't want my friends to have to worry about my worry about me. I didn't expect my friends to understand what it was that I was going through. So that was probably the most difficult part for me was talking to people. But 
once I talked to my roommate and I talked to like a few, like maybe one or two friends, um, I was able to know that one, I wasn't crazy. Cause I feel like when you're depressed or when you're going through sad moments, everything is telling you, you have no right to feel like this. What is wrong with you, right? But then by talking to my friends, I realized that this was something that a lot of people go through, especially millennials. And I'm curious as to why so many millennials deal with depression or mental health issues. Um, maybe pressures, maybe society, maybe social media, I don't know, but it felt good to know that there were other people who had been in my shoes um and also i feel like the biggest part of overcoming changing my, my food habits so definitely getting rid of meat and chicken i don't know what it is but that overnight changed my changed my entire energy from then until now i am so good when i wake up and i'm talking about before i would wake up my body would be aching i would just be tired groggy and i would not understand why and now i have so much energy i'd be having to calm myself down so that also helps um but then the one thing that was like the hardest that helps was going outside and i feel like when you are super super down or you're super depressed you don't want to go anywhere you don't want to be anywhere you don't even want to get out your bed to be honest you just want to lay down and just exist you don't want to live and i feel like the days where i actually went out and did something i thought to my so, oh, like, I actually have fun. Like, I can do this again. Um, so that was, like, a huge, huge thing for me as well. And I feel like more recently, like, just yesterday, I was sitting there and I felt so, like, all over the place. And I was just like, yo, I'm feeling something and I can't explain the feeling. I don't know what it is. And, y'all, I was just happy. I was literally just happy. And it took that for me to be like, yo, I have not been happy in a long, long, long time. Just genuinely happy right not happy about something that happened not happy about an experience but just like in my being feeling happy and all of those things that I spoke about as well as me just seeing God take things or me seeing God prevent me from getting certain things so that he could give me better I feel like all of that combined just made me feel at peace with myself so I implore you if you're dealing with anything emotionally or mentally right now to really just Take the time to be and really, really, really just invest in yourself spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. I'm gonna go in with the Dermalogica Prism Protect Sunscreen. Use your SPF, y'all. It's a moisturizer and SPF all in one. And it is bomb. It does not leave a gray or purple cast. And I love it. Like I finished one already. This is my second one. And as you guys can, y'all probably can't see, but it's like in the middle. It's halfway done. I use this every day as well. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, like in order, to, some things that also help, like watching the video, there were two videos that I watched here on YouTube, and I will also link those two down below, but Raw Beauty Christy basically did a video of how she was feeling, this idea of like expecting perfection, because I think also a part of what it is, is that sometimes I'm just scared to film, and when I say I'm scared to film, it's because I put so much pressure on myself, and I think about what you guys are going to like, and what y'all want to see, and just all of these things that, all of these barriers I give myself that don't really exist. Um, I put them on myself and as a result of that, like I'm always, always like, oh my God, like just scared to film, um, which I shouldn't be. So seeing Roe Beauty Christie talk about that and seeing her talk about how she has to literally give herself a strict schedule and stick to it in order to make things happen, that's the same thing with me. If I don't give myself a schedule and if I don't force myself to get certain things done, then it just doesn't happen because it's almost like I would procrastinate and hold off on it. So I'm really, really working on that as well. Um, but also a video J Jayla Majet did as well here on YouTube. And I think what really moves me by her video is the fact that like we are different in many ways like physically but the things that we're going through emotionally are the exact same and i feel like for me like recently i have gained weight um and i think depression added to that because i was eating more than i needed to and more recently like i just started losing weight i just started going to the gym again so that's another thing that i started to do but seeing someone who in my mind her life is really really good and seeing that we're going through the same thing emotionally it just made me feel like i had a community and i wasn't alone and so i feel like for any of you guys out there that are dealing with a moment of sadness just know that you are not alone know that it can happen to anyone depression can affect anyone it's not just you there's nothing that you are doing that makes you less than anyone else. You are perfect the way that you are. You are loved, you are needed, you are important, you are valued, you have purpose, and you just need to do the work for yourself in order to get to a place where you are happy just for being.
Um, so I will link those videos down below because they were really, really inspiring to me just to see people who I admire and look up to, especially within this realm of social media, within this realm of YouTube, also dealing with the same things that I'm dealing with. And that lets me know also like this has nothing to do with money. It has nothing to do with status. It has nothing to do with success. It has everything to do with you and like your chemical imbalances too, like for people who really, really struggle with depression. Um... So for me, like I'm, I'm really happy and I feel like because I'm happy, I can film. Because I'm happy, I can be productive. Because I'm happy, I'm doing things. I'm going out, I'm going places, I'm interacting with people. And these are all things that at the beginning of July, I was not doing at all. So I am super, super thankful. Um, right now I'm going in with this antioxidant hydromix. I just like this. Um, it's supposed to be like anti-aging from Dermalogica. I just like the feeling it gives my skin. It makes it feel very refreshed. And the mister is really nice as well. Um, oh, I forgot to do my under eye cream, but I'm actually not going to bed. It's still early, it's actually six o'clock, so I'm probably gonna go out, I have to go to Target. Um, so I'll probably do another skincare routine once I get home. But I just wanted to come on here and let the first video that I did in a few weeks be me just keeping it real with y'all about what's really going on. I'm not missing in action because I didn't edit or because I have issues. I did have an eye infection last week, which I got over, but that was another thing is that I was super frustrated about um, like my eye. And also I was at a point where I was breaking out extremely. And I'll put some pictures here. And that's why I say I actually do believe in Dermalogica. Any brand that you see me feature on my channel is a brand that I actually respect, a brand that I use, a brand that I like. I'm never gonna come on here with products that I don't actually use because I also spend my money on makeup. I spend my money on things. So I would never want you to waste your money. So when my skin was really, really going through it, using the Dermalogica products consistently helps my skin a lot. And because they are gentle and because they don't trip your skin of the things that you need, like I feel like it just like my skin right now to me looks super glowy and healthy. And that's really what I like about Dermalogica products. But that was another thing that was stressing me out was my skin and how much it was up and down. And I feel like, especially for me, I feel like a part of my brand is my skin. So everyone always comments, oh my God, your skin is so nice, your skin is so nice. And I feel like that gave me a pressure for myself of if I'm breaking out, I can't film because that's against, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was almost like I was, I was acting, I wasn't acting regular. You know, like everything was a huge deal to me when it should not have been. So me doing my skincare was also actually something that really, really helps me within my confidence for myself. So I truly believe in these products and I hope that you guys are able to win. So whoever gets it, I hope that you use everything and that you love it as much as I do. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I just wanna also say thank you to Nima. I think that it's super, super dope of you to have gotten to where you are and still remember what it feels like because I feel like it's super hard to do. It's hard to make it and then remember those feelings and the stress of you know not having anything and having to make something from nothing so the fact that you were able to bless people based on your own blessings more blessings are going to come to you and I hope so one day to be able to bless someone in the way that you have done to me in fact I am making it my mission to do so I want to do the exact same thing and give back to someone as I continue to grow because these feelings that I have I know that other people are going to have it so I am definitely going to pay it forward yeah I feel like I touched on everything that I wanted to talk about and this was kind of all over the place because this is just literally a uh get unready with me let's unwind so if you're home from work or whether you're just um, you're relaxing unwinding whatever it is that you're doing i just wanted you guys to get ready with me see a little bit about my skincare i will list in details description of the steps that i took when it came to my skincare routine for taking off my makeup um i will list all of that down below in the description box and if you guys want to see more skincare videos in the future where i just focus on skincare and i'm not talking about myself let me know as well um thank you guys for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed the realness that i bring into you physically you know i'm stripping away the makeup to almost symbolize as well stripping away myself and showing myself to you guys both on the inside and on the outside this is me i am growing i am learning and i hope to be able to do that with you if you have any positive words if you have ever gone through a period of depression if you've ever gone through a period of just feeling down and unmotivated please leave in the comment section down below what you did in order to get yourself out of those emotions so that we can be a community and so that anyone that watches this that is feeling how i was feeling that is feeling how you may have felt um or that is currently feeling these things now can see some words of encouragement let's uplift each other thank you guys so much for continuously coming back to my page thank you for everybody that has subscribed i've never even said thank you for 2,000 subscribers thank you so 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 much i truly appreciate you guys i appreciate you for coming back 
I love y'all and that's real. Like that's real. When I say that I love you guys, that is real because I truly feel at peace when I'm filming. And I'm so thankful that you guys come back consistently to see what I'm putting up. So I'm gonna stop rambling. I'm gonna stop chatting, okay? Thank you guys so much. Make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.